Chris Pratt has grown to be one of the most recognizable actors in Hollywood, with his charm and comedic timing endearing him to audiences across the board. His rise from a small town to worldwide fame is an inspiration, replete with unique turns. It has been a journey of mainly turbulent and self-discovering times that took him from obscurity into the bright realms of stardom in both film and television, molding him into the versatile actor he is today. Just recently, he has made the news for calling out some of his co-stars on the current project that he is working on, working with the Russo brothers, Anthony and Joe Russo, as producers and who are also directing the film. And we are talking about no other project than The Electric State, which we will be seeing come 2025. So what exactly provoked Chris Pratt into calling out his co-stars? Just stay with us as we unravel this tale. Christopher Michael Pratt was born on June 21, 1979, in Virginia, Minnesota. He was raised in Lake Stevens, Washington, a small town as a kid, and was the youngest among three children to Kathleen and Daniel Pratt. His dad had mined and refurbished houses, while his mom worked at a supermarket. Pratt's family life was essentially down-to-earth. However, he had some challenges early in life especially after his father was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. This caused strain on the marriage and brought financial and personal strains on the family. Pratt spent most of his childhood near his siblings and had a flair for everything funny. As a child, Pratt was reportedly outgoing and keen to explore. Soon after his childhood, he got himself noticed for his humor and ability to make people laugh. His charisma made him popular at school, and he acted in school plays, taking part in wrestling, too, where he found an early love for performance. Pratt's academic career wasn't as remarkable. Pratt attended a community college after high school, but didn't stick around for too long, growing restless, while thinking about what life had in store for him. In order to make ends meet, he drove a van to Maui, Hawaii, where he did odd jobs. Pratt lived in a van working as a waiter at Bubba Gump Shrimp Company, reveling in the meager simplicity of it all. This was certainly not an easy time in his life, but it would later turn into the defining moment of it all. Matters then took an altogether unexpected turn while he was working for the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. One day, the actress Ray Dawn Chong noticed him and saw something in this young, energetic waiter that nobody else did. She was looking for an actor for her directorial debut a short horror movie called Cursed Part 3, and she ended up casting him for a role. He had no training whatsoever but liked acting well enough, so he took a chance and went to Los Angeles to pursue the craft. Pratt had to go through some difficult times in Los Angeles, just bouncing from audition to audition and taking up small roles. One of his first big gigs was when he landed the role of Bright Abbott in the TV series Everwood, back in 2002. The series lasted for four seasons, giving Pratt his first big exposure and affording him an opportunity to fine-tune his acting skills. He then landed a recurring role on the O.C. as Chi, which really developed his skills in comic depth and character development. These roles launched Pratt's television career, thus giving him a foothold within the industry. Although Pratt eventually found success as an actor on television, it was initially difficult for him to break into film. Most directors placed him in the category of that funny, chubby guy, which put many limitations on the range of his career opportunities. However, Pratt pursued auditions and breaks that allowed him to break into the film industry for more varied roles. He got his big break when he got the 2008 film Wanted, where he acted alongside the likes of James McAvoy and Angelina Jolie. This was a small part, but Pratt's performance caught the attention of casting agents and directors and slowly opened the doors to more film parts. It turned out all Pratt needed at the time was to be seen and wanted provided that platform for him. Of course, his persistence paid off when Pratt landed a role in Parks and Recreation, starring as Andy Dwyer, a lovable, somewhat dim-witted character. Pratt's portrayal of Andy was just as much charming as it proved to be a perfect example of comedic timing and quick wit. What was originally supposed to be a character that appeared for only a little while in the series wound up being such a fan favorite that Pratt was quickly bumped up to the series regular. 
The success of Parks and Recreation cemented his status as one of the leading comedic actors of the time and gave him an avenue with which to show his range. The more momentum Pratt's career was picking up, the more he also seriously worked at physically transforming for certain roles. In 2011, he auditioned for the part of Scott Hatterberg in Moneyball. Convinced that he could do this part, Pratt lost an incredible amount of weight to fit into the role and impressed the movie producers immensely. With the sports drama Moneyball, which had to be performed with critical effect, Pratt managed to shed the comic typecast tag and proved his worth as an actor who could adapt to different roles, sending signals that he should be taken seriously. This momentum landed him a more challenging role as a Navy SEAL in Zero Dark Thirty, for which he had to undertake loads of training and actually change his physique. That was the turning point, and he was taken seriously as an action star. His career graph began to take a new turn in 2014 when he signed up as Peter Quill, alias Star-Lord, for the Marvel superhero film Guardians of the Galaxy. He acted out this character, Quill, a witty and adventurous character, so well that the movie happened to be a box office hit, propelling Pratt to international stardom. It got him further leading roles in films like Jurassic World, where Pratt played the character Owen Grady. It had gigantic box office numbers and cemented Pratt's status as a leading man in Hollywood. With the Guardians of the Galaxy and Jurassic World franchises, he became one of the most in-demand actors in the business based on his ability to manage both comedy and action. Throughout his career, Pratt has accumulated quite a few award wins and nominations that trace his rise and success in the industry. His role in Parks and Recreation won him a nomination for Critics' Choice Television Award in the Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series category back in 2013. This might have been a loss to him, but sure enough, this nomination gave him the merit of being part of one of the most loved comedies that ever aired on television. Pratt also received a Saturn Award for Best Actor in 2015 for the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. The success of this film further brought several MTV Movie Award nominations, including Best Comedic Performance, which he won, further establishing his reputation as both a comedic and action star. In 2014, he received a CinemaCon Award for Breakthrough Performer of the Year, which seemed to cement the fact that he was viable for both television and film. This position was cemented by his performance in Jurassic World, as he gained a nomination for a Teen Choice Award in the category Choice Summer Movie Star. As his career continued to rise in 2018, Pratt received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for contributions within the film and television realms. It was one of those milestones that pointed all the way from humble beginnings to one of the brightest stars of Hollywood. These successes make his struggling days less painful as he keeps his eyes on what is to come. Talk about the perfect grass-to-gray story. Chris Pratt's career trajectory has been a testament to the strength and adaptability of the actor. From serving as a waiter, he has grown into several blockbuster franchises, building an enviable legacy underwritten by hard work, charisma, and genuine love for his craft. His story resonates in the ears of the audience, not just for his talent, but more so for latent humility and respect for the career he later pursued. Today, Pratt still carries on with tough and diverse roles. The body of his work shows increasing depth and range. His story is an inspiration to young actors everywhere, proving that obscurity to fame can be accomplished with patience and persistence. When you consider the struggle and dedication that it actually took for him to get to where he is at the moment, then you wouldn't be surprised as to the reason that he just called out his co-stars recently. And speaking of that, Let's see what he is currently working on that necessitated all these. Chris Pratt's latest project, The Electric State, coming to Netflix in March 2025, is going to be one of the most anticipated science fiction films of the year. It will be brought to life by two of the most well-known directors in the game, Joe and Anthony Russo, being an adaptation of Simon Stollenhag's graphic novel within the bounds of an alternate, retro-futuristic version of the 1990s. 
It stars Pratt alongside Millie Bobby Brown as Michelle, a teenager on an adventure to find her missing brother in a world where sentient robots, which always coexisted peacefully with humans, have since lived in exile after a failed rebellion. Pratt's character Keats joins Michelle as she tries to make her way through an exclusion zone full of robotic life and animatronic friends in search of a darker mystery behind her brother's disappearance. Next up in line from Pratt's announcement is another cast full of great talents, including the likes of Ki Hoi Kwan, Jason Alexander, and Stanley Tucci. Meanwhile, the voices behind Woody Harrelson, Brian Cox, and Alan Tudyk will introduce an array of robotic characters. Sibling Helmers Anthony and Joe Russo employ high-stakes adventure and emotional depth in their films, similar to their work done in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Free from the shackles of the original graphic novel, this adaptation stitches together an original storyline that might be associated with artificial intelligence and human-machine coexistence. Adding new plot elements such as the exclusion zone gives a new vision to Stalinhag's dystopia in the quest for equal rights among robots. Beyond his character work, Pratt has been speaking to set dynamics in Hollywood of late, underscoring how respect and professionalism go hand in hand. Pratt was calling out actors who are notoriously tricky to work with on set without actually naming them and describing how crucial it is to film with excitable, dedicated people. In his comments, he said, Look, these guys can attest to this because they're the same way. Like, there's no room for attitudes there, Pratt said. You can't have a bad... You can't have a bad attitude in movie making. It ruins everything for everyone. And then you don't last long. Pratt continued, It sucks when people have a crappy attitude. So when you show up on set, there's no reason why you should, like, Oh, are you having a hard time living your dream? Is that tough for you today? Like, come on and pull your head out. Have fun. This comment paints a picture of what it has been like filming for the new movie. Hopefully, we will be able to identify the particular actors he was referring to with these comments. Overall, this goes to show his own personal stand on his career. And beyond the negative picture, he seems to have a different view about some other co-stars like Millie Booby Brown. He had nothing but great things to say about Brown making sure to mention just how professional and lively the positivity was, as it was a real pleasure to be working with her amid the long, physically and emotionally exhausting shoot days of the electric state. Pratt's comments are indicative of a larger industry trend of collaborative on-set vibe and blend well with his rep as one of the more collaborative and amiable actors in Hollywood. With sterling performances, immersive visuals, and a resilient underpinning, the Electric State has gained some super momentum for its release, landing as one of Netflix's most looked-to releases for early 2025. Millie Bobby Brown, who seems to be Pratt's favorite co-star, had gained recognition with the title Character of Eleven in Netflix's Stranger Things, a role that positioned her as one of the most promising young actresses and opened up big projects for her. She also showed her acting skill with the key role in Enola Holmes and its sequel as Sherlock Holmes' sister, using humor and wit to her advantage. She has lent her voice to Susie in a VR film series called Spheres by Darren Aronofsky, which is an episodic series further showing just how versatile she is, diving deep into voice acting, not to mention the successive roles in Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Godzilla vs., Kong also introduced her into blockbuster franchises. She, however, did not stop there but continued acting in blockbuster films to which she is very adaptable in the genre. Besides acting, Brown has been immensely interested and dedicated time to animal welfare and its advocacy. This seems to be another quality that Pratt admires about her. She is into animal rescue and has fostered many dogs, special needs dogs, and senior dogs that are mostly passed by for adoption. She moved out of her parents' house just so she could better accommodate her pets. She has also teamed up with organizations such as Joey's Friends to facilitate pet adoptions and create awareness about the welfare of animals. She also has her support dog, Winnie, a therapy dog, which often goes on to sets to support her emotionally and further show just how close she is with her animals. Besides animal welfare, 
Brown's advocacy extends to being a UNICEF goodwill ambassador and remains the youngest celebrity to ever take on the appointment. Through UNICEF, Brown speaks out loudly against child poverty, violence, and issues of access facing youth globally. With UNICEF, she travels to visit children in hotspots of crisis and spreads awareness of the troubles they are facing. In essence, animal and humanitarian causes mark her commitment to worthwhile uses of her platform for impactful advocacy. And back to Chris Pratt, he hasn't exactly had a smooth ride through his career. There have been controversies that have dotted his career over the years. Chris Pratt has been embroiled in several controversies since he came to the attention of the wider public, from comments he has made to perceived political and religious views. Perhaps the most recognized of these started in 2019 when actor Elliot Page called out Pratt for supposedly attending a church known for anti-LGBTQ views. Although Pratt denied any affiliation with the church in question, stating that he was never involved with it, his silence on this matter back then cost him an awful lot in terms of online backlash. Later on, Pratt himself clarified that he doesn't identify as deeply religious, though he believes in God. Supporters like Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn and actors Robert Downey Jr. and Mark Ruffalo, among others, came to his defense, revealing his goodness and dedication to family. This only escalated further debate about his religion and whether he was in fact a member of a particular religious group with excluding beliefs. Another incident that had risen involved Twitter posts of his that were allegedly racist and inflammatory. In 2021, a spate of screenshots from tweets purportedly from Pratt as far back as 2012 began circulating across social media with several containing slurs and other inflammatory language. Camp Pratt jumped in fast, labeling said tweets as fakes and pointing out the posts were never on his account to begin with. Even Twitter officials came out to declare they believed the tweets to be fabricated, but it still led to some streams of backlash. Despite the denials and protection from representatives, the incident nonetheless perpetuated criticism of Pratt's character from fans and online commentators. To add to his list of controversies, Pratt was once the subject of a social media poll regarding Hollywood's worst Chris, igniting an uproar on social media with critiques and negativity. That said, many fans chimed in regarding how that poll was unfair and sparked debate about how celebrities should be treated in public discourse. While his followers defended him, many were still skeptical of the actor's political allegiance and feelings as he often didn't directly say what he felt about hot social issues. On these political topics, Pratt has pretty much kept silent, which sometimes has left him vulnerable to criticism based more on an assumption than an overt action or word spoken. In all these several controversies help to illustrate that many of Pratt's decisions not to be too out there in regard to his personal beliefs and associations have provided a great deal of speculation. Still, his peers and co-stars alike have shown much support by complimenting his work ethic and genuine character through these debates. There you have it, and we all look forward to seeing what the upcoming movie will say about the actor. Let us know what your expectations are in the comments, and we will see you in the next one.